Good evening, everyone. How the fuck are you guys doing? I'm doing pretty goddamn good. And tonight I want to shoot a hopefully kind of quick video reply to a YouTuber that I've been watching for quite a while now. If you're not familiar with her, go ahead and subscribe. She's pretty good at what she does here on YouTube. Um, her name's Nancy. I'll leave a link to her channel and a link to all relevant videos in the Sarah Han bar below, as usual. Um, now, Nancy, in, in your video, I'll just get right to it. In, in your video, you're talking to Bionic Dance. You're replying to her video that she did titled, what was it, I, I think it was uh, uh, Atheist Repetition. And, and the theme of her video was basically that you know, we've said it all before. We've already been over these topics with the religious. They know all of the counter-arguments. They know our position. And we're pretty much doomed to repeat our position as long as people continue to think badly. That's really all that, that her video was about. And you found some parts of her video to be what you call condescending. Especially the part where she said that you know, we're going to have to show them not what to think, but how to think, as if these people can't think for themselves, right? As if they haven't made their life decisions based on their view of the world and all of this. And I think that you've completely misinterpreted what Bionic Dance was trying to say. Now, myself and Bionic Dance, we don't always agree on every little thing. Um, I take issue with some things that she said in the past. Um, very small things, really, nothing to write home about. Uh, but in this situation, I, I think that Bionic Dance is 100% right, and that you've definitely blown this whole thing out of proportion. And I'm not just referring to your video here, but to some of the comments that you left. Now, in your video, you say to her that this was condescending, as if these people don't know how to think for themselves. I'd hate to break, I hate to break this to you, and I actually don't like saying it, because it is offensive. It is condescending, it is a bit rude to point this out, but it's a fact. There is such a thing as bad thinking, incorrect thinking. It's demonstrable. You can actually show people why their thinking is bad, why it's fucked up. And I think it's okay to point that out. A great example that I always go back to when I'm talking about this is racism. This is not only bad thinking because it leads to hatred and violence and all of that shit. It's bad thinking because there's actually no intelligent, logical reason to be a racist. Right? And you can demonstrate that to people. You can explain to them that disliking another person because they're a different color than you are it's bad thought. It doesn't make any sense, and there's no logical reason to think that way to begin with. To give you an example, I was in a Stickham chat room the other night with someone you may be familiar with, Nancy, a character called Von Helton, here on YouTube. And he said a couple of things that were just not true, right? The first thing that he said was that all Muslims, no matter what sort of Muslim they are, want to kill all non-Muslims. That's what he told me. That's what he actually believes. I asked him that, and he said yes. The problem with that statement is that it's demonstrably false. I could actually demonstrate with evidence to Von Helton how his statement is 100% not correct. Period. Another thing that he said was that what he would call the ideology of atheism, leads directly to the slaughter and or imprisonment of theists. Atheism leads to violence. I can demonstrate how that's not true. So while you might find it a bit condescending or arrogant or rude, um, when, when people like Bionic Dance say that these people are thinking badly, it's true. These people are thinking badly, and there's absolutely no reason not to continue to point that out. Now, you've also pointed out a couple of other problems with this sort of aggressive approach. One, you fear that maybe if you take that kind of aggressive or what could appear to be condescending approach to your opposition, that 
they'll be so infuriated or outraged with the way you're approaching them that they won't be willing to listen to you at all. Um, another concern of yours is that if you go on this way saying that, you know, my way of thinking is superior to yours, that you begin to sound just as dogmatic as your opposition. Now, I have to disagree with you on both points. Now, on the first point, you're afraid that taking this sort of what you would call condescending or aggressive approach might turn certain people off. People who otherwise may have really humored you, may have really listened to what it was that you had to explain to them and, and actually taken some of your advice and all of that sort of thing, may turn their back on you if you're a bit too confrontational or rude or condescending or aggressive. They may not listen to what you have to say now. Now, what I have to urge you to remember here, Nancy, is that you're dealing with the Von Heltons of the world. People like myself in Bionic Dance, these are the people that we are talking about and to sometimes. These are completely irrational, bad thinkers, dogmatic thinkers, and they have really no interest in how you approach them to prove it. Take a person like Yoke Up, another great example. People have tried to be polite, um, reasonable. Um, they did their best not to be confrontational, not to yell at him or be rude or condescending. No result. People like myself have been rude, aggressive, and condescending. There was no effect again, no result. He is still who he is and believes what he does. Some of these people are just bad thinkers, and that's who they are. They feel comfortable thinking the way that they do. And that's the other part of it. Some people need to be made uncomfortable. They need to feel like they're wrong because they simply are. Being polite to them and trying to demonstrate it to them and not, and not condescend to them or make them feel better in their current um, thought process doesn't do the trick for some of these people. Some of these people need to feel bad about the way they think because their thinking is bad. And it is effective. There's been times for me where I've taken a side on an issue and I, I didn't change my mind because everybody um, was really gentle with me and, and let me feel good about what I already believed. No, they didn't make me feel good about it. They told me it was fucking stupid. And, that it was, and they showed me how it was stupid, and I was ridiculed for thinking that way, and deservingly so. I, I deserve to be shown that way because I was unwilling to, to step out of that comfort zone. And a lot of times that is necessary. So I really don't think that's uh, too big of an issue. And I really don't think that your approach would work any better than the aggressive and what you call condescending approach. And to demonstrate that to you, Look at YouTube videos of the past. Look at the people who have been approached that way and simply have not changed the way that they think. Now, your other concern, Nancy, as far as I understand it, is that if people like myself or Bionic Dance or any other atheist that might take what you would refer to as this condescending approach, is that over time, if we continue to say things like, my way of thinking is superior to your way of thinking, then we may become as dogmatic as our opposition. We may become the very thing that we hate. Now, this is a common concern among the self-proclaimed critical thinkers here on YouTube, and I've addressed it before, but it's very important for me to point out how wrong you are and how that is, quite frankly, impossible. Now, so you know why I'm addressing this as one of your concerns, you left a comment in reply to Bionic Dance, and you said, the following, quote, It depends on who is saying they have the truth. Your stance is dogmatic and no different than a Christian saying, because you are a lesbian and an atheist, you are going to hell. Unquote. You are simply wrong here. The theist cannot demonstrate that these things are true. People like myself and Bionic Dance can, can honestly demonstrate certain complaints we have about the way these people think. We can actually show them why dogmatic thought is destructive, why it doesn't work. And that's that. There's a huge difference between, I mean, if somebody is repeating 
over and over again the truth. Something they can show everyone to be true, and they keep repeating it over and over again. That doesn't make them a dogmatist. It makes them a bit repetitive and maybe a pain in the ass, but it certainly does not make them dogmatic. That's not what dogma is. Dogma is not simply repeating the truth over and over again. It's, it's ignoring the truth. Dogma is turning your back on the truth. In the face of evidence to the contrary, you still maintain a certain ideology. That is dogmatic. It's not dogmatic to point at the ocean and say, that's the ocean. Look at the water. Look at the waves. That's the ocean. Because the moment somebody comes along and explains to me that things are not exactly the way I understand them, and I change my mind instantly, like I do nowadays, I'm not a dogmatist. I'm interested in knowledge. And faith has absolutely nothing to do with that. Dogma has absolutely nothing to do with the truth. It has nothing to do with knowledge. So there's absolutely no reason to fear that if you repeat the truth too often, you may be a dogmatist. That is a dangerous idea, and quite frankly, it's simply incorrect. So that's it. I, I think that pretty much sums up how I feel. Um, repeating the truth over and over again is not dogmatic. Um, making people feel uncomfortable about bad ideology is a good idea. That's pretty much it. That's my summary for this video, my reply to you. Enjoy, and to the rest of you, good night. Peace.